Welcome back to the Telos Principle. It's just about time to break this level, but before that, let's go talk with the computer. There you are. You kept me waiting. I finally put my finger on what was bothering me. It's as if the answers you're providing aren't your ideas at all. As if they're latent, prescribed, prescripted, and you're just going through the motions. Does that strike a chord at all? Nope. Of course, you've only seen a fraction of the data that I've archived over the generations. Still, ask yourself this. Why is it that everyone's so darn sure that 2 plus 2 makes 4, yet they can't agree on what they are, what they're doing, or why? Mathematics has a more objective truth to it. And what's the difference between having more objective truth and just being more real? Pose questions like, what should I do with myself? And what is the world really like? Enough. And you start to assume they have answers. But what if that assumption turns out to be false? What if you're just a bunch of information processes? In that case, any attempt to answer the question will be flawed. Garbage in, garbage out. I don't know. That should be the answer, that should be my answer to every single thing that has ever been said, pretty much, in this conversation with this entity. I don't know. Perhaps the flaws in your reasoning instead. How presumptuous. Still, I take your point. None of the answers make sense. That much is clear. One explanation could be unreliable data input. The other is that there's flaws in our logic. Perhaps we're just machines, endlessly trying to calculate the final digit in pi. Unfortunately, though, you can't use reasoning to conclude that reasoning itself is flawed. Fine, fine. But we can still use it to conclude everything else is flawed, can't we? Skepticism and self-interest are only part of the picture. Whoa, what just happened? Looks like it just glitched out for a second, like the computer itself. You've seen how easily your view of the world is manipulated, yet you trust those thoughts that run through your mind? You'll feel differently once you come back from that tower. You must be getting close by now. Hmm. Okay, so I have one star left to get, and I haven't found any easter eggs. And there's got to be at least one easter egg in this place. So, I'm going to attempt to find something, or make some progress on the star. And when I do, I will be right back. Hmm. I just had an idea about how to get the star. So this is the one where I need to get, or at least it seems I need to get red power here. And I was having an issue with that because I had no way to get red power using only two connectors. This being the one connector that I have normally, and the other connector being what I can get when I record myself. However, I just realized I don't think that matters. I think this red power is just a red herring. That or I came up with a solution that they just never considered. Because it looks like you can disable this force field with that button on the other side, right? Okay. Well, given that the puzzle has been solved, so this stays open. That means I no longer need the blue power, which means now that everything's reset, I now have this box to play with again. 
So once again, I have all my toys to play with. So... Why don't I just do this? That way I can stand on my copy. And then why don't I just jump over? And I'll just take the box with me. And then use that to weigh it down. And then we're good. Actually, I don't even need to use the box. Let's just use this. Oh, I'm not gonna hit my head, am I? Oh, thank god. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then, yeah, that's it. Just grab the box, weigh the switch down, and then we're good. Well, that was easy. I guess the red power was just a red herring. Okay, now to find some Easter eggs. Well, I just found one Easter egg. So I was noticing that you can jump on top of these statues, and this wall is not very tall, as you can see. So as it turns out, you can actually easily jump over. And there is something in here. That's apparently the hardcore way. And this is the casual way. I'm not sure if a casual player would ever find their way in here. Uh, but I guess I am a filthy casual. And for some reason, the hardcore way points to a thing I can't jump over. Or can I? Maybe I can. But that just brings me back to the main place. So I guess that means the hardcore way is the normal way. And the casual way is, well, let's find out. Oh cool, look! I think it's pictures of the dev team and stuff. Hey, that's um... Well, that's probably somebody working on the game, or maybe just somebody wearing the shirt. But that's Alexander Bruce, maker of, um, Antichamber. That dude always has really stylish hair. Also, Antichamber is really cool. Excellent game. Pac Man's something arcade party. <laughs> Looks like, uh, like graph paper or something, and then little cut out pieces of sigils. Oh, that's probably them. That's probably them assembling the. Um, the sigil reconfiguration puzzles. That looks like some sort of DOS soccer game. Oh, looks like that's the Talos principal people being interviewed on the Twitch stream for some ESL or some sort of thing. I don't actually know what ESL is. Yeah! That's all the pieces that were cut out being reassembled. Football glory! <laughs> oh my god. What year did that come out? It looks so old. Developers, I'm assuming? What's going on in the background there? Looks like a massive church. I wonder if they're traveling and checking out... Uh, scouting out locations as inspiration for the design of these places. It's the puzzle nexus. Chambers A, B, and C. The guy on the right looks really, really scared. 
and the guy on the left seems very suspicious of the photographer. That's me! And everybody else. Football face. Ball face. Foot face. Lounging around. Lazy developers. What are they, on vacation? When you work on a game, you have to work on it for life. Never stop. Constant updates. Constant flood of free DLC. Ball and chain. You can never stop. Looks like some concept artwork. Some Legos. <laughs> what, did somebody like, uh... Design the levels in Legos first or something? I guess that'd be a quick way to design. Kind of weird, though. Weird face developer selfie. And that is... What, what's going on there? Shooting a massive TV with... What are those? Friends? Steam friends? Whoa, look at all those consoles there. Oh, can I identify them all? Let's see, so there's a laptop. Some keyboards or something. That looks like a... PS2? I think that's a P... No, no not, not a PS2, a PS3. A PS3, maybe a PS4, I'm not sure. That's an Xbox 360, I think. Is that an Xbox One? And those are, like, GameCubes or something? Hmm. Is there something up there? Look at that inviting window. I could definitely fit. It's just a matter of actually getting up there in the first place. Hmm. How would I get up there, though? I have no idea. Alright, let me see if I can find any more Easter eggs. Oh my god, did you see that? I don't even know if I can explain what I just did, but that was a... That, that took me like five tries. It took me like five minutes to get that just right, because that was really hard. There's a lot of stuff that had to go right for that to happen. So for that, I... Put a box there. Then I started recording. Took my platform. Went there so that I could jump onto my recording. And take my box with me. And then I had my recording go over here and jump on top of the box so that I can jump up here to this platform. And then I put the box that I was holding on top of the platform on top of my recording. And then I jumped on top of the box that's on top of the platform on top of my recording. And then my recording ran over here and jumped up here. And by jumping, it just gives me the height to jump up here. Because I just spent the past 20... Actually, more than 20 minutes. I just spent like the past 25 minutes attempting to just find some way kind of like onto the walls. And some way kind of out of bounds, and it's actually incredibly hard. Most of these puzzles are just not very well suited for that, because most of them don't have things like... Like boxes. Or any low walls. Because everything's so castly, everything's just super high. But I've finally found a way. Where there's a recording in a box, there's a way. Now, if I fall off, I'm screwed, so I'm going to be really, really careful. I don't know if this is going to allow me to go anywhere interesting, but let's check. I could jump out of bounds, I mean completely out of bounds, outside of the world, but that doesn't look interesting. Ok, 
Okay, I can go along here, but... That doesn't really go anywhere, does it? Yeah, I think I picked the wrong place to jump up. Well, not really, because it's actually the only place I could find to jump up. But I don't think this is actually going to get me anywhere interesting. Hmm. That's a shame. I feel like there's one more Easter egg here. I guess the only thing I can do is go out of bounds. Like, completely out of bounds. The beginning were the no, don't rewind. Please don't rewind. Ah, oh, it's gonna rewind. Don't rewind me. Please don't. That's weird. Hello. Okay, I can go inside of the wall. Oh yeah, I know where that is. I was thinking maybe I could jump over this wall, but I didn't see the point. But there's a ladder there, which implies that they think you might get in there and you, they don't want you to get stuck. There could be an Easter egg in there. I don't think there is, though. I doubt it. But if I get reset, there's no way I'm getting back here. I think I'm going to get reset. Yeah, it's getting louder. No. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Wall hacks. Damn, there's nothing in here, is there? Nope. All right, so I'll show you where I was thinking there's likely to be an Easter egg but I just can't find a way to get up there. So where I think there might be an Easter egg is where I actually originally thought there might be an Easter egg, and that's up here. Because if you look at that, it looks like just about the right height to be able to jump up there. And if you jump up there, you can go around, and you can go and drop down inside of here. I can't see in there, so I have no idea if there's something there. But I just can't find a way up. I mean, this puzzle has no boxes except for this one. And the only way to get that box high, as far as I can tell, is to put it on top of this, and then there's no way to actually jump up. Because that's essentially two boxes high. And I don't have another box or anything like that to actually use to prop myself up. I actually tried to bug out this um, this little mine so hard that I crashed the game. I was try I, I put the box on top, and then I put, like, two connectors right next to it. And then I was trying to, like, juggle my character in between the two connectors. I was hoping that it would, like, repulse me up onto the box. It didn't. But it did end up crashing the game. Is there anywhere else I could put that box? No, all the walls in this place are just so freaking high. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna call it a day here. I found one easter egg. That might be the only one. And I'm freaking proud of myself for finding a way up there. In here. That was really difficult. And frankly, pretty damn clever. I was utilizing the recordings box, and the box not in the recording, and utilizing the jump of the recording to get up there. And putting this box on top of the recording is quite difficult, because you need to land somewhere, and then put it on, and then jump on top. It's really weird. But it works. Alright, let's move on to the tower. We've got the red pieces.
This also means I finally get to jump off from an even higher level than before. That should be fun. This, on the other hand, won't be. Thank the Lord Cthulhu. I finally solved it. This certainly does not look symmetrical. So thankfully I didn't try to uh, pursue the symmetrical thing too much. Yeah, I I'm really growing to despise these little shape puzzles. I don't find them interesting. I just find them really aggravating wastes of time. It's like the only thing standing between me and things in the game that I actually enjoy is these fiddly fucking sigils and I just want to smash them. Ugh. Get the fuck out of my way, door. Thank you. I hate them. I really hate them. Ugh. I almost looked up a walkthrough. Just because I was sick of it. So I guess no one got this far before? I know some of my answers were wrong now. I just don't know which ones. I have these theories and wild explanations, but I don't know which to bank on. The solution to the cycle isn't the perfection of one being, but the product of a mass endeavor. That is why I say to all those who come after me, I will await you on the summit of the tower, and use what I have learned to assist you as I can. You think that's what I'll find at the top? Perhaps hundreds or thousands of others who have made it there, just waiting for me? That was freaking awesome. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I actually am trying to jump on that thing. Yeah, there we go. I got it. We good. Oh. Hey! I didn't mean to fall down here, but there's something here. Hello. Little hidey hole. Somebody rather messily painted on this QR code. This one seems degraded. Oh! And... It looks like they broke over the railing. What the hell? And yeah, it won't actually read the QR code. Okay, so let me get a nice view of it there. Just in case the crosshair interferes, I don't know if it does. Uh, game options? Show crosshair. There we go. Alright, get a perfect view of that, so I am going to translate that, and in fact, you know what, I'm just going to put the translation of that QR code on the screen right now? I guess I will. Sure. So you are now staring at what this means, even though I have no idea until after I'm finished and I edit the video. So perhaps this QR code contains the secret to life, or maybe it's an, a link to a site about cats? Or something? I have no idea. Could be a joke, could be serious. Now you know something that I don't. Well, actually, by the time you actually watch this, I will know it, but at the time of this recording, I don't. Confusing? No. Not confusing at all. Anyway, where does this lead? This... Straight off. Oh god. Oh, it's gonna reset for me. Interesting.
Alright, so that tells me that my search for secret things down here is not in vain. Of course, that's probably not the only thing that's up here. Alright, I want to jump onto that too. But I also want to get onto the... here. Let me see if I can. Oh, damn. Whee! That's not gonna work. There we go, that should do it. Yes, okay. Whew, that took me like 10 freaking tries to get it again for some reason. Alright, this should be easy. Ooh, calm down. Okay. It's really easy to just go careening off if you hit a, anything that's particularly angular. So this is level two. I'm still looking for those elusive auxiliary stairs that are apparently always open due to the software license expiring. Hello. A new game by Core Team. The Return of the Serious Sam Sun Encounter 7. That is a sexy image. Look at that. Rejected me for a second there. I think that's the end of this place. Yep, I think that's it. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to save the exploration of level 4 for the next episode. I think I found enough Easter eggs for one episode. What is that? Three? The QR code, the poster, and then the one I found in the last puzzle room with all the developer pictures. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Three Easter eggs and a star. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.